something. I'm sorry. That's booby. And jolty and ghosty and chip. Default. Was it count on me? Mm-hmm. This is for the big homie. Oh, this is seven dusted. Seven dusted. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Yay. Um. This is our this, guy, right? Yes. And here is a picture of him and his son. Also, he has a message. Um, okay, well, his son's name is Dakota. He wanted to give you a message, Dakota. And he said, it's time to blaze your trail. There's no one prouder than I am, and I got your six always. So I thought that was really, really cool. Is Dakota going? Oh, here it is. I have the picture right here. Oh, he's a Navy guy. <laughs> Looking very nice, very handsome, Dakota. Okay. Yep. Shout out to the big <laughs> homie. Cool, man. That That's... That's this cool. uh, this was Seven Dusted is the guy that got us the background shirts. Yes, right? and when the I, reason that, that he picked, a lot. the reason that he picked this song is because this was the first concert that Dakota went to was had Default there. Oh, so that's I'm why he pretty sure song. I've seen Default live once actually. Oh really? I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Pretty sure, but I'll have to go back into my. Uh, they were opening for a band or something like that. But anyway. Um, that's the fault. This is the song Count On Me. And again, shout out to Seven Dusted and, and uh, Dakota. And, Dakota. and everybody in our military. All right, Ready? let's do it. Go.
a good one. That's. <coughs> yeah, man. Being being a dad is a. That's really good. Being a dad's a, a crazy thing, you know. Like, I remember, you know, the resentment that you feel. You didn't really have my dad around. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't. I wasn't like, like mega angry most of the time. It was a couple times I'm like, ah, you know. Mm -hmm when I was doing really well in Taekwondo. Yeah. You know, my mom was there or doing really well in, you know, baseball or when we had the undefeated team season in football mm -hmm. and I got the MVP and blah blah blah. And like not having my dad there. I mean there are a couple I mean, some of those moments like I didn't even think to have my dad there. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Um but you know, you just kinda have this kind of generic like, ah, oh, he wasn't there type of thing. But and it really made me want to have a son so that I could be there for my son. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I wanted to be able to... And now it's like... I feel like he got the short end of the stick not being able to be around oh. and guide me. Because now it's like... You know, like... Yeah. Dorian went for his first uh, audition or whatever because he's, he's kind of getting into acting. And, yeah. and it was clear to me that he wasn't going to get it. You know what I mean? And... Um, you know, he didn't get it. He got the phone call and all that, yeah. and, and walking through that, and he he's applying for jobs. I mean, we're in basically in the middle of an ice storm right now, which is probably why nobody's internet's working. Mm -hmm. And he went out there and put in some applications, and you know, he's mm -hmm. not getting the callbacks. You know, and he's he's struggling with it. You know, mm -hmm. he's 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 how oh, come nobody's calling me back? And I said, mm -hmm. I told you. You know, and being able, and he's like, "Oh, that's right." He's crying, and you know, hug him, hug it out. And, Aww. Uh, and um, and he's a very, very, mm. very, very, very sensitive kid. Mm -hmm. Very sensitive young man, and to be able to tell him like, "That's your greatest strength, man." Like your sensitivity is like mm -hmm. people are gonna try to tell you it's weakness, but it's not. It's like mm -hmm. that's that's like the most one of the most beautiful things about you that God made, and just to be able to walk him through that, you know, and, and, um, and be there for, for them, you know, mm -hmm. for, obviously I want to be there for my daughters too, obviously, but because I was a son who didn't have a dad, like to be able to walk him through that and have those discussions and grow into manhood and, and all that is like, mm -hmm. it's a, uh, it's a real gift, man. And it's, it's, uh, And yeah, unless you're a dad, you know, you really can't understand it. Like Seven Dustage, you know, he was military. Now he's got his boy and his, his boy is, you know, blazing his own trail. And that's mm -hmm. a, that's the pinnacle of fatherhood is to be able to have your son go off and do his own thing. Mm -hmm. And it's also the most tragic moment, you know, because, yeah. you know, even now. Well, yeah, I think that when his son was in that, what what is, is that? It's some sort of a camp, I think, that he graduated from. I don't know if it's boot camp. I'm not familiar with the military, whatever. But anyway, like <clears throat> when his son had graduated, he said that, you know, they've been very busy. And so he hasn't even been able to see him as much as he wants to see him and stuff like that. But like, I think that that's part of growing up is that, you know, they're going to go do their thing, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, he's, he's you know, they got to go out there and blaze their own trail. But it's got to it's gonna be, it's going to be a tough thing. It's hard, you know. Yeah. It's hard because, you know, just yesterday he was a boy and now he's going out in the dark in an ice storm and putting out applications and applying himself and you know you know, Dorian doesn't need to do that, but it's it's his own thing and he he mm -hmm. you know, based on what he's been taught and what we teach him about initiative and mm -hmm. nobody's gonna hand you shit in this world. Mm -hmm. and especially you. Mm -hmm. So you gotta you got to take the initiative and, and you're going to get a bunch of no's before you get a yes. Yeah. And, 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 you know. Don't let that discourage you. Sending your kid out into that type of a world, especially, you know, it's a, it's a hard thing. But it's all, all, also, you, you're just very, very proud, you know. And, mm -hmm. I, and I'm glad that, you know, he can be honest enough with me to cry it out sometimes. Yeah. And, and talk to me about his discouragement. And, yeah. And, and uh, it's a... It's a beautiful thing, and I'm much. I wouldn't, you know, if it was between me having my dad and Dorian having his dad. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, 
I wouldn't trade it for anything. Mm -hmm. I would. God, kids will, kids will. They'll test you. They'll challenge you. They'll whatever. But man, it's <laughs> it's it's the best thing in the world, man. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's just. It's cool, and this guy's a little bit taller than his dad. Kind of, kind of. No, they look like kinda the same, same height. height. Dorian, Dorian's definitely gonna be taller than me. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> you know, um, and it's. Uh, Yeah, I just love them, you know, and it, it's a good song. It is. It's a really good song. And I, you know what I liked about it was that he said, um, I'd like to be the one to pull you through your darkest times. I'd love to be the light that finds you. Um, wait a minute. Uh, I'll pick you up whenever you fall down. Just make, take my, where does it say? Oh, right there. I know that life ain't over yet. I'm here for you, so don't forget. You can count on me because I will carry you till you carry on. Right. Because he he believes in the person. It's not like, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to have rough times. Like, everybody, we were talking about this in the car the other night. Every single person is going to experience rough times. We're all going to experience loss. We're all going to experience sorrow. We're all going to, yeah. you know, we're all going to experience all these different things. And he's saying, I, I want to be the one that helps you to get through those things. And I know that you're going to get through. And that's why he says... Till you carry on, because you will. Yeah, and obviously... You're the son of your father, you'll carry on. Yeah. yeah you got my blood in your veins. Yeah. Stand the fuck up. <laughs> Stop crying about shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, obviously, the father-son context. But, you know, you've been... You've been <laughs> you know, you've been there for me in some pretty, pretty difficult times. You know, like... Even, you know, when you when you came over here, like that the place was literally upside down, uninhabitable. Like, like my life was an absolute, like I'm talking maggots. I'm talking like it was crazy. Like, just like mm -hmm. insane. Like you have no idea. Like, and then she just came in and turn the place into something unrecognizable in a very very short period of time like and there was no judgment there was no because you saw that you know like I had, I had nothing I had nothing left you know mm -hmm. I had invested so much of my whole being into this mm -hmm. relationship and then the thing was falling apart and, and I was just like you know mm -hmm. and everything was and I don't trust people like just by default, I don't trust. I just don't trust people, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't trust anybody, and, and for a lot. And so, what that does is that, like, I'm very good at keeping like whole swaths of myself like away from people. Mm -hmm. And so, people are like, why is it so easy for you to, you know, not be friends with me anymore? <laughs> I was like, mm -hmm. never really like that with you, bro. Um, and you know, I and and. Say what you want. I don't have any hard feelings toward him. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they, they, you know, so. Who's right or wrong? The point is, is like, like you were a person where I was like, ah, oh. like I, you know, I trusted you and, and all that. And, man, you, you, this was like a, that was a big thing. Like that, that period of my life, like that was a, like I got rid of one major stressor, mm -hmm. like, you know, I was able, you know, fortune presented itself and I was mm -hmm. able to go, if I don't say anything, I can get out of this. Right. So I got one, but, but then like, there was just this whole, like there were these kids and there was some wreckage of the kids and the, yeah, there was a person I'd been with since high school and, yeah. and that, like, I never imagined my life out, you know, outside of that, you know, and then my kids were, you know, raw and, and then the place was just completely, the, I, didn't I say like we should have took a before and after or something like that? Yeah, but I, I just, I mean, like you said, it was, it was so terrible that I would have felt like it was betraying you to. It was, <laughs> it was hellish. Sayla took some pictures, I think, in in the room. It was, it was absolutely <laughs> hellish. And now here we are, you know, like uh, in a very, very short period of time, like you, you know, you turn a lot of things around. Well, we were both going through a particularly difficult time, and I felt like that we were, 
not physically holding each other's hands, but, but in a sense, just holding each other's hands through it. Like I was helping you and you know, cleaning, I like cleaning. <laughs> You know, makes me feel good. And so the degree to which it needed to be cleaned was, wow, this is a real challenge. And I felt very accomplished after it. You know what I mean? And you're very good at like walking people through difficult things. And so you would help me walk through things and, you know, help me. And I was helping you and we were, you know, trying to help the kids. And there was a lot going on. But well, you, you helped me like reorient and say, because at the time, like literally, I was just like, you looked dazed and confused and lost like you. I, it was just such a... I was just like, man, at the end of... As, as long as everybody's alive. Mm -hmm. As long as, like, literally, like, I was doing head counts. Wow, like, you just brought it down. In, like, that. certain situations, you had to head count. All right, everybody's here. Mm -hmm. Like, that's that was the mode I was in. I was like, all right. But at the end of the night, everybody's there. Everybody's alive. I go downstairs, see the kids breathing. Like, all right or wherever they were, they were breathing okay. Mm. But like, that was my mindset, wow. you know, because like, that's how, that's 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 kind of where we were. And then like, you know, you showed up. It wasn't just the cleaning, it was just you brought, you know, order, mm -hmm. you know, into a lot of chaos and mm. being able to be away from certain stressors and like, get my mind reoriented and, and it was just like, ah, mm -hmm. you know, like, and I would tell people like, I really need y'all not to talk to me. <laughs> I they need didn't you, listen. <laughs> I need you to let me, it was. Because they needed something. <laughs> right, right. They needed something. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, I really, really, really need you to not talk to me. Mm -hmm. I really need you to give me some space because, you know, they'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then there was one person was like hugging me like really hard. And I was like, you have got to let me go. Which was mm -hmm. kind of like a double entendre. That mm -hmm. was probably the last time we ever talked. But like, it just, you know, it was just a crazy thing. Like people mm -hmm. couldn't, they just couldn't leave me alone. Mm -hmm. And I'm not mad at them because for two and a half, three years, I, I created that situation where, you know, yep. so I'm not, I'm not mad at them. But, yeah. you know, that's, then I took some pretty extreme measures and never spoke to most of them ever again. Yep. And I didn't have to take those measures. They, uh, they didn't you, want to speak to me again. Uh, yeah, <laughs> dynamics. <laughs> dynamics are great. People. <laughs> it would been better off for them if I'd have been dead. <laughs> it's a really, really, really terrible, but it's the truth. For them. But anyway, I'm I'm glad that you're here, and I'm glad that. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm here too. Definitely would have been. There's certain mentalities that work if you're in an extreme situation. Mm -hmm. With other men in extreme situations that do not work with kids. Oh yeah. Like the whole. Hey, this was a terrible day, terrible night, but as long as everybody's accounted for in the head count and as long as everybody's blankets going up and down, we're good. Yeah. That, that doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work with children. No. <laughs> it doesn't no. work with children. No. Uh, so, it's man, cute because... I'm very, very grateful. Like, this song is, is uh, definitely me and Dorian for sure, but definitely you and me too. Like, I was able to kind of mm -hmm. get on my feet and all that, and that's mm -hmm. that's really because of you so then after that I was like all right that's it like I'm getting a tattoo it's over anybody messes with this girl like they're done <laughs> they're done <laughs> people knew not to say anything crazy about you around me before mm -hmm. but after that it was like it was like one or two conversations and then after that you know, I and I purposely you know, kind of went over the top with certain people because I knew that they were they were big gossipers. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give this person like the extra special treatment because I know she's gonna go off and do all Tell this. Tell everybody. Which is exactly <laughs> what I needed to happen. Like, don't it you worked? ever in your life say something. I don't even care if it's true. <laughs> don't say nothing to me about her. I'll take care of it. Then me and her will take care of it. I don't need nothing from you. <laughs> you better shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> this is a positive song, so we're yes. going to stay positive. Hey, uh, your dad loves you, sir. Yeah. Mr. Dakota. 
Uh, and uh, your dad's got your six, you know that. Honestly, bro, honestly, if you guys need anything from us, your dad knows how to get to me. Um, literally anything, we got you 100%. 100%. Yep. Um, and don't, don't be, uh, don't be scurred. I don't know how we could help you that your dad couldn't, but if we can, and, and uh, seven. Oh dozen. well, we have a, we have a decent sized YouTube channel. If you need to utilize that, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, yeah. Anything he needs, care packages, whatever. Let yes. us know. We got you, one hundred percent. Okay. Um, good, good. Uh, yeah. Default was this song was on the radio a lot. Um, <coughs> I'm, I'm not really. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. It sounded a bit familiar to me, but I wasn't sure if that was actually true or not. What do you get the song? Nine point two. Uh, solid nine. Solid nine. There you go. Vin out. Sorry out. Gone.